All right, welcome to the channel, and today we will be talking about the ZMF Auteur Classics. And these were sent out by ZMF, and they are not asking me to say or do anything other than my honest opinion regarding these headphones. So that's what we will dive into next, my thoughts, experiences, and uh, how I feel about these. So we will start with the build and aesthetics and go from there. Going right into it, the, the build quality of these is very ZMF. Like, I mean, <laughs> if you've held a ZMF, you know the build quality is fantastic. They come with a, a lifetime warranty on the drivers. There's just fantastic build quality. The materials used is high quality, very soft, supple leather. The wood is always just polished and amazing. The grills look and feel amazing. The hardware overall is very solid. The it, some people get a little fresher with these, uh, you know, adjustment clips because you have to kind of wiggle them sometimes. But that being said, they're solid, and once you lock them in and they're they're done they're in your spot you never have to worry about readjusting them or anything like that because once you get them there I, i've never had to move them again unless someone came over to try them out or something like that but outside of that fantastic uh cup material fantastic beautiful wood the uh pads same thing zmf fantastic pads soft supple cushy well made so yeah build fantastic easy <laughs> aesthetics okay and this is hit or miss for a lot of people just because aesthetics is a very subjective thing um, objectively though I would you'd be hard put that they aren't fantastic like because of the fact that just the way that they're polished the way they look the wood everything about them objectively is a very well polished made headphone that being said, going into the subjective side of it, I can see where maybe some people don't like the gothic look of like the grill or what have you. But that being said, these to me, I love the ZMF wood, metal, and leather aesthetic. It just, I think these are fantastic. I mean, and beautiful, just beautiful. And the wood is always just beautiful. Anytime you get a headphone from ZMF or Zach, it's like, man, like, fantastic. I love it. So, subjectively, I think it's aesthetically very pleasing, and I love looking at my ZMFs as much as I love listening to them. So, that's a, a big plus for me. So, that's, yeah. And so, next up, we'll talk about the sound of these. And this will kind of be a little bit long-winded and a little bit, you know, meandering through different topics and thoughts, but just because there's so much kind of involved with these. Uh, two things is the Atour Classic versus the Atour Originals. The Atour Classic utilizes the Atrium's dampening system. So that's the big difference between the two, is, or between the Atour Classic and the Atour Original, is that the Atour Classic has the Atrium's dampening system. So sound, <laughs> highs, I felt the highs were very tame. They didn't have too much crispy or sharpness to them at all. I, I wouldn't say fully rolled off or anything like that, but they're definitely tame. Like they're easy to get along with. I didn't have any, like ever any sharp sounds coming in while at the same time maintaining a general um, splash and spark to them as far as like with hi-hats or like uh, cymbals, that kind of thing. It, it did well, even piano hits. It, it, it gave you enough to know that it was there without it being the overwhelming sound in a headphone whereas sometimes headphones can just stab you right in the ear with those um, the mids though i will say is definitively the main focus of these just like the originals so the auteur classics do have a very similar to the auteur originals i'm going to butcher this but uh saying those back and back but uh the originals were definitely more forward in the mids though so that being said, the mids on these are still fantastic, and I really enjoyed the the mids like a lot. Like was vocals, acoustics, orchestral, and even like hip hop, EDM, uh, folk, uh, everything. Like the, it was really great. Anything that has like a mid forward track or song, uh, lovely, just lovely. And then the next thing was be the lows, which was, in my opinion, a little bit more elevated and punchy and kind of slammy to comparatively from memory, the Atour originals. So the Atour classics definitely have a little leg up there. And I was really impressed. I really enjoyed the, the low end on these. And then going into, say, the detail, uh, imaging, and stage, detail was 
is actually quite good, especially in that mid-range detail. The highs, where usually where people can, like think detail, they think highs and you know the sharpness and crispness. But to me, like the detail on the mids when these were right on par, they're just fine. And then the highs on these for the detail and whatnot, it was it was easily there. I could pick it apart when I needed to, but it's definitely a more laid back detail. If that's understandable if that if you know what i mean like it, it wasn't like detail monster where it's like pushing in your face but the details there if you wanted to look for it uh the imaging also same thing i could easily pick apart and pick where things and sounds were coming from and then the stage was like it wasn't super wide like an hd 800 but it was definitely wide and it felt nice i don't know if it, it might not even be as wide as the atriums but it was the way it presented was excellent it just really well done the Next part, let's just kind of talk about the Atour Classics versus the Atour Originals, and then I'll talk about these versus the Atriums. But right off the bat, the Atour Originals and the Atour Classics, the biggest difference that, from my memory of listening to them both and having these on hand, the Atour Classics, uh, is that the Atour Classics are more balanced. Like, they have a more balanced uh, kind of curve to them, I guess, frequency response, not that I care about that, but just listening to it, that's what my perception of them is. The mids aren't quite as forward as the Atour originals. The The highs are about the same, I'd say, but it did feel like the highs were just maybe a little bit more uh, boosted. Uh, boosted, I don't know if that's the right term, but they felt a little more present there. Um, not like you know, way forward, but they just felt more balanced across the frequency response just by listening. I didn't measure these. The... Uh, Next thing I would say is that these seem, the Atour Classics seem to get along even more so with different genres of music than, say, the Atour Originals. The Atour Originals were fantastic for that, but these just have this, it feels a little bit more balanced, so therefore I felt like I was getting, like, more tracks were able to shine with these, especially like the hip hop, EDM, that kind of stuff with that low end being really nice. You know, take that for what it is, and that's just my opinion and personal thoughts on these and my experience, but I do find that these are a little bit more balanced than the Atour Originals. The Atour Classics just have a nice sound to them. They're a little more balanced and a little easier to get along with. Uh, I do think the Atour Classics do win out in the mid-range though. So, especially, especially <laughs> with vocals, uh, acoustics, uh, orchestral, that kind of stuff. Um, so, comparing these two, which I think is an unfair comparison, comparing them to the atriums, which these are, I mentioned these were well-balanced. These are next-level well-balanced. These are fantastic. I would say these have the edge on mids, but everything else, these do what these do better. <laughs> so I don't want to go too much into depth on that, but let's just say that these sit appropriately in the lineup for ZMF. I think these are a total headphone. In fact, these, in my opinion, the atriums are the most balanced total I've heard, uh, top of the line headphone I've heard. The atriums are just, just lovely, fantastic, lots of detail. Lots of uh, imaging, lots of stage, lots of tonal balance. Just feels really nice. The mids, like I said, aren't quite as as nice as, or forward as the Atour classics, but they're right there. And it's these are just a step up, like the definitive step up. So unfair comparison in my opinion, but they they fit where they need to fit. Like, and I do think though that. The Atour Classics are great. Like they're, it, it's it's an unfair comparison. It's like comparing a Focal Clear to a Focal Utopia kind of thing, right? It's just they sit where they sit, and that's that's that. So, let's dive into the next part, which this one I thought was fun. This is where these actually really started to shine, and that's does it game? And gaming with these has been just mm, fantastic. Like I, I was blown away. I was not expecting these to be the best gaming headphone because of that, the tameness of the highs, but wow, like these for gaming and let's back up a little bit. Do these beat the HD 800s for, you know, stage and imaging? I'd say they're almost on par on imaging and stage. They're definitely not as wide, but the way it presents, it wasn't even a factor for me. And then the fact that these have a little bit of boosted low end without being overdone. So it doesn't get kind of in the way lovely and then the highs being a little more tame or rolled off comparatively to the hd100 i was worried about but in all truth it actually made it more enjoyable to play the games i was playing i played mostly first person shooters i played a couple of uh you know rpgs that kind of stuff but specifically in the um first person shooter games usually you can you know you shoot a gun or you shoot a, a 
alien weapon or whatever the game is and it'll have that bright like concussion and like and it will just stab you in the ears and it's like ah oh, or you hope people shooting from away or explosions and it, it just can be a little bit much right and whereas with this you still got all the detail you needed you got all the imaging you needed without having that sharpness without having that stabby in your ear and this that that it just became so enjoyable like beyond enjoyable gaming with this. I was extremely impressed. And not that I'm suggesting you go out and buy like a, you know, kill a buck freaking headphone just for gaming. Um, these also, like I said, fantastic for music and, and, and that's their main purpose. But as well, it's nice to know that they are also fantastic for gaming. I was very impressed. Uh, so yeah, so diving into, uh, I guess, my final thoughts regarding the Atour Classic. The Atour Classic, I think is a classic. This this is a classic in the making. This this is I think the next evolution of the auteur and I think that's I think Zach did the right thing with these. It, he made them more accessible to more genres and I could see where there could be a potential for people to prefer the originals, the auteur originals. Um, but they're more I would say the auteur originals are more niche niche that word. Um, whereas these are a little more balanced and still maintain a majority of what the auteur originals provided with them. They are, might not have quite the mid-range, but they do balance that out by being a little more balanced and being a little more accessible to other genres and other things. And I, I very impressed with these. I'm, yes, these are fantastic. Love them. So, uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what some of the, the people on the little tour were going to say about these. Cause I, I think these are a winner. Um, but I definitely see where some people might prefer the tour originals just because it's such a lovely, unique sound with those. So, yeah, with that, I'll let everyone have their day, morning, evening, midday, I don't know, back. <laughs> and uh, look forward to chatting with everybody in the next live stream or the next video. So, yeah, cheers, everybody, and have a great rest of your whatever you are doing. <laughs> cheers. Thank you.